This is 1H part 1. We're following through method 1. In the last tutorial, you created this new pitch allocation table, which is where we're going to store the data from this subform. What we now need to do is create the form that is going to include this table for the subform. So we're going to include this data. And we're also going to link it to the booking. But because we're going to be creating most of this data from scratch, in fact, all of the data from scratch, we're not actually going to base it on the booking table. But to make it link to the booking ID and to be able to make the form work, we will have to add in one field that's required, which will be the booking ID field. So we'll go through creating uh, this booking form. So we're going to go to create and we're going to use a form wizard. The first thing we're going to do is for the booking table, we're going to add in the booking ID. Now we're not actually going to use this, we'll be removing it pretty much straight away because it's only going to be used to link to this table here, these um, data in these records. So it's not used for any purpose because we're going to be generating it from scratch. So that will be removed. We then need to think about the other data that we're going to include. So we're going to need the new pitch allocation. And we're going to need all fields, the new quantity, because we're going to need quantity. We're going to need the adults. We're going to need the children. We're going to need the pitch type ID. And we're going to need the booking ID in order to link. But again, we won't actually be using it once we've got it. So I'm going to add on all of these fields but I don't want the pitch allocation ID, so I'll take that one off. Then, in order to see the pitch type, we're also going to need the pitch type table. We're going to need the description, because that will need to be displayed. We're going to need the current price, because we'll be using that to set the new price, the price that's charged. And we're also going to need the number of pitches remaining because we're going to be comparing that for the validation rule. So I'm going to put that on as well. But again, we won't actually be using the data to view it. It will just be for the comparison purposes. So we'll click on Next. How do we want to view our data? We want it arranged by booking because we want this subform here. So we'll leave that as it is. It's much easier if you go for tabular because you'll be able to organize this data much better. And particularly the pitch type ID should also come through as a drop down box if we do it that way. And I'm going to call my form new booking. And then we'll click on finish and it will create that form for us. So let's have a look at what we've got. There's our sub form. Here's our booking ID that we're not going to be using. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, and I'm just going to remove the booking ID because we're not actually going to be using the existing data that's there. So in the next tutorial, you're going to look at how to create the booking ID, the booking date, the payment due, the church drop-down box and setting up that part of this form.